Hunt for the Bamboo Rat, written by Graham Salisbury, is a historical novel set during World War II. Loosely inspired by the real-life experiences of Richard Sakakita, a Japanese-American intelligence official, the story follows Zenji Watanabe, a recent high school graduate from Hawaii. Watanabe leaves his home to serve as a translator for the U.S. Army, striving to uphold his honor while navigating the complexities of war. The narrative begins in the early summer of 1941, with Watanabe attending his final weeks of school at McKinley High in Honolulu's Paoa Valley. He earns money by operating a forklift for a few months. Watanabe's younger sister, Aiko, is still in high school, while his older brother, Henry, works as a bookkeeper and attends college part-time. Their mother, an immigrant from Okinawa, and their father, who passed away years earlier in an industrial accident, complete the Watanabe family. Shortly before summer break, an officer recruiting for the ROTC at McKinley approaches Watanabe, sparking his interest in joining. He is directed to the ROTC office, where he undergoes a background check and a mild interrogation, conducted in Japanese. After successfully clearing these initial screenings, Watanabe proceeds to cognitive and social compatibility exams. Eventually, he is informed that he has been selected for a top-secret assignment involving the translation of Japanese communications in the Philippines. Due to his age, the army seeks parental permission, and though reluctant, Watanabe's mother signs off on it. In Hunt for the Bamboo Rat, Watanabe's brother Henry throws him a farewell party before he embarks on his journey to the Philippines. At the party, he meets a captivating girl named Mina. Arriving in the Philippines, Watanabe encounters another Japanese-American named Freddy Kimura, who also hails from Hawaii. Assigned the codename Bamboo Rat, Watanabe and Freddy are instructed to assimilate into the local culture and blend in as spies. Watanabe poses as a businessman, using his job as a cover to gather information and submit his findings via a mailbox in his hotel. After settling into Manila, Watanabe secures a position at the Japanese consulate, working under the guidance of Japanese-American Benny Suzuki. However, when Japan launches a surprise attack on Manila, coinciding with the bombings at Pearl Harbor, the American personnel at the consulate are evacuated. Watanabe disobeys orders to leave for Australia and selflessly gives his flight to Benny, who has a family. As a consequence, Watanabe is captured and imprisoned by the Japanese. In captivity, he endures harsh interrogation, torture, and mistreatment due to his perceived betrayal as a Japanese traitor. Determined to escape, Watanabe meticulously plans his breakout, while enduring further hardships and abuse from his captors. During his time in prison, Watanabe is unexpectedly chosen to be the translator for Colonel Fujimoto, a high-ranking Japanese official. As Fujimoto treats him with increasing kindness, he starts to question Watanabe's true identity as the bamboo rat. As the novel draws to a close, U.S. forces advance on the Philippines, and Watanabe seizes the opportunity to escape his captivity. He survives in the wilderness until reaching civilization. Hunt for the Bamboo Rat showcases the remarkable resilience and sacrifices made by prisoners of war in their unwavering commitment to protect their homelands, even at great personal cost. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.